here's what I said. It's simple. You can't hand the keys to a job that you told me was a top 10 job in this country and at a minimum is a top 20 job in this country. You can't turn the keys over to someone who's never coached a game in their life, period, full stop. Never coached a college game, never coached a pro game. And when Eric Spolster has been suspended, Juwan Howard did not coach for that team. The second-in-command in Miami did. Juwan Howard has never recruited. Juwan Howard has never fundraised, has never been the CEO of a college program. John Beeline was objectively one of the 10 to 15 best coaches in college basketball. You're going from that to this. And the only defense you have is, but, but he played here. Nobody cares. This absolutely to me is a dud of a hire. If I am one of the 11 Michigan basketball fans today, hey, you want to dominate the press conference? Congratulations. That's what hiring Juwan Howard will do. You want to get the bunch of bought and paid for Michigan media who got to sell you subscriptions and who got to delight the fan base? You want them to write nice things? They're going to, but I tell you what you're not going to do. You're not going to come into the Big Ten and win basketball games like this. This guy has no track record of building a program. This guy has no track record of what, what kind of offense does he run? Don't know. He's never done it. What kind of defensive scheme does he run? Don't know. He's never done it. Tell you another thing. If I'm Yachlidge, I'm going with Shaka Smart. I did an interview for the Michigan job only to end up working for the guy who they hired. Yachlidge was the reason you became a defensive powerhouse. So you hire Howard, you likely lose him. Cool trade-off. See, I don't, I don't get lost in the light show. I care about what's real. And I think this search is kind of a bust. All we heard about when John Beeline left was, let's go out, let's get Brad Stevens, let's get Billy Donovan. Oh, hell, let's call John Calipari. Oh, hell, we can get whoever we want, right? Deep pockets, great facilities. Beeline made it an elite program. Okay, ask yourself this question. What other elite program in America would act this way with a head coaching hire? I'm waiting. Now, your short list included the following. Lavelle Jordan, Ed Cooley, Juwan Howard, and a guy currently on staff. Really? Now, it means a couple of things might be true here. Maybe, just maybe, nobody wanted this job. But that would be rude, and I can't prove that. Second of all would be, you scrambled. You got caught with your pants down. Even though Beeline talked to the Pistons and talked to the Magic, you weren't really ready for him to leave. And he blindsided you. And you didn't have a short list. And you went out and you hired Jawan Howard because he's the only guy that would get this fervent fan base united. Because if there's one thing that Michigan fans can agree on, it's they love Michigan men. Oh, they love just crawling up the ass of a good Michigan man. Ooh, he went to school here. He knows the values. He's a Michigan man. And you'll look past all the foibles that a guy may have. You'll look past all the deficiencies he may have in the resume because he's a Michigan man. I mean, hell, you've done it with your football coach. I mean, the guy, the guy firebombed your school when he was at Stanford. Oh, but you got on your knees and groveled for him to come home. He's possibly a sociopath. He's a nutcase. Nobody likes him, but you do. Because he's, oh, yeah. he's a Michigan man. Now, now you just hired a coach who has absolutely no resume. None. Being a secondary assistant in Miami? Oh, oh, Dwayne Wade said he'll make a good coach. Right, because Dwayne Wade would go out and go, nah, dog, Juwan, <laughs> he'd be a terrible coach. Guys, you got to stop with that. Oh, my God. Look who's vouching for him. Who would publicly go out and character assassinate a genuinely decent man? I don't know. That's my point. Like, stop with that.
to me, you were better off hiring Yaklich. Maintaining the culture, maintaining the defensive system, maintaining something of what Beeline built. Hiring Juwan Howard, to me, is nothing more than a PR stunt and an admission that you couldn't get a quality candidate in here. Period. You want to call me and say, trust the process? Tell me why. You want to call me and tell me I got it wrong? Argue the points I've made. How do you take the keys to a program that has played for two national championships in seven years and hand them to someone who has never had to draw something on a whiteboard with seven seconds to go, sideline out of bounds? How do you do that? Oh, because he played here in 93? Hot. Awesome. Sorry, man. If Michigan State repl- if Izzo went to the Spurs tomorrow because Popovich wanted to ride on a cruise ship for the rest of his days and Michigan State replaced Tom Izzo with Steve Smith, I'd barf all over myself. You're insane. I think it's disrespectful. This program was built by John Beeline. He's the greatest coach you've ever had. And you know what you've seemingly done? You've seemingly gone for the publicity. You've gone for the sizzle, not the steak. You mean to tell me that out of 330 Division I programs in this country, you couldn't come away with an up-and-comer? You couldn't come away with someone at a mid-level program that would walk on hot coals to coach this team? Someone that's got a resume of identifying talent off the beaten path? Someone who has credibility? Someone who has built a program in a clean manner? And someone who's deserving of taking that next step up to coach the University of Michigan, one of the 20 best jobs in America, 15 best jobs in America. If you can't do that, then you're not fit to be an athletic director. I don't know if Ward is or isn't capable because, to me, this feels like something entirely different. This feels like something where they know they're up against it, and the only way they could get everyone on the same page is to somehow wake up the echoes, bring back a fab fiver. Hell, maybe they'll put the banners back up now, too. But we're talking about winning basketball games. If you think Tom Izzo and Matt Painter are shaking in their boots on this one, you're out to lunch. You're going from a coach that everyone universally respected in John Beeline. I respected John Beeline. John Beeline was a distinct problem for me as a Spartan fan because he was damn good. You're going to go from that to someone with zero experience. Zero. And in the process, I'll be surprised if you, if you keep Yaklich. If I'm Luke Yaklich, I'm out of town. I interviewed the, for the gig. You passed me over for a dude who hasn't coached a day in his life in the college game. Hasn't coached a day in his life in the pros. I don't want to hear about being some secondary assistant in the NBA. I'm talking being the guy. Being the guy. Being the dude who's got to answer the questions. Being the guy who's got to do the recruiting. Being the guy who's got to draw the plays up. And you went and hired that over me? If I'm Yachlidge, I'm heading to Austin, Texas. And it's just, it's, it's amazing to me. But it's the most Michigan thing ever. It really is. Go for the sizzle. Go for the light show. You know, I'll tell you why. Because if you went out and you hired some small college coach, somebody from the MAC, somebody from the SOCON, somebody from the Southland, if you did that, you wouldn't be able to unify this goofball fan base. And the only thing Michigan's more afraid of than losing games is, is, is not being able to save face. Hiring Juwan Howard, they can save face. They'll get a bunch of platitudes from former NBA players. Get a bunch of platitudes from idiot writers, right? You'll get some ESPN piece by some goofball writer, and it's going to be, ooh, this is a coup, is it? Well, that's already happening, too, Mike. Sure. I, you know, uh, Fran, Fran Fraschilla? Yeah. So he actually just, and I, and I kid you not, he just tweeted out a couple minutes ago and said how 
with a straight face, hey, it's now going to be very likely that Michigan lands uh, Bronny James and Zaire Wade, Le- you know, LeBron and D Wade's kids. Sure. Because you want how- that's going to be the next thing. Wow, making a play for a couple one and dones. Okay. You know what, Mike? Honestly, to me, it's a folly. You went from developing players. You went from a guy who identified, like, does Juwan Howard have a system? Wouldn't know. He's never run one. I mean, it just, it's goofy. And it's disappointing. You'd like to think that Beeline had built this thing to be where coaches would line up, no matter where in the cycle, to take the job. And no, you were never going to get the fantasy names. You were never going to get Billy Donovan. You were never going to get Brad Stevens. That, that, that Chris Beard. That was ridiculous. But this? What is it, a popularity contest? Give me a basketball coach. Give me somebody with a resume. I mean, Chris, you know, Chris Beard, great example. He had to go to Arkansas Little Rock and turn them into a, a mid-major power, a tournament problem. To get a look, even from UNLV, took the UNLV job, and a few weeks later went to Tech. You got to earn your stripes. Really, just I don't know. If I'm a Michigan basketball fan, I'm kind of bummed out about this. But then again, here's the other thing in media today: you're not going to have anyone come out and rip a hire. Nobody rips anything. Everybody wants to be everybody's friend. Nobody wants to just critically think about it and go, you know what? This is questionable. I mean, forget I mean, that's just how it works. Fran Frischilla. Guy was terrible as a coach. He spends half his year in Europe evaluating players. His, his deal to the conversation is, well, now you'll get LeBron James' kid. Good. Hope you do. I don't see it. Don't see it. I mean, I get the ideas behind it, but I'll tell you what. If I got a program that's of the caliber of U of M and I've played for a couple national championships, I'm trying to bring in a guy who's going to further what Beeline built. And that doesn't begin with a guy whose resume is a blank piece of paper in the college basketball world. Days are getting a little longer around here. Put the extra hours of sunlight to work by saving you some money. You can reduce your power bill with help from Power Home Solar. Number one residential solar provider in the state. One of the top solar installation companies in the nation. Power Home installs American-made panels. 30-year warranty. Allows you to own your power, not just rent it from the power company. And as an official partner of the Lions, they have installed solar panels at Ford Field and Allen Park. They seek to continue building a movement towards cleaner, greener energy. By seeing if solar's right for you, go to powerhome.com. That's powerhome.com, or you can give them a call, 1-800-SOLAR-15. Schedule that free solar consultation today. Don't rent your power. Own it with help from Power Home Solar.